good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome to another week here at One Community. We're so excited that you're here. I'm Miss Teresa, and I would like to welcome all of our guests today. If it's your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Why don't you give me a heart to let me know that it's your first time? I'd love to see who's out there. And if you've been coming for a while, why don't you put a cross? Put a cross in the chat. That way I can see who we have joining us today. And guys, welcome to everyone that's here. We are so excited. We're coming to the end of the month. Can you believe it? It's almost the end of May. It's almost June. It's almost summer. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for summer. So let's get to our theme this month. Our theme is raise your game, play with confidence, right? We're going to play with confidence. And our virtue is confidence, which means living like you believe God is with you. All right, that's how I want us to walk throughout this month. Let's walk throughout this year believing that God is with us, and that's how we're going to live and walk. Guys, our verse this month is, so we can say boldly, the Lord helps me, I will not be afraid. That comes from Hebrews 13, 6. Guys, we have a great story for you today, but before we get to the story, it's a really cool time of worship. That's called Praise and Worship. Stand to your feet and let's get ready to worship. Telling some great stories this month, Miss Tina. And it just don't stop, Miss no, Tisha. It gets better. It gets it even gets better. better. It continues on. And, and again, on. and again, 
and on. again. Okay, I'm ready. You ready for this one? Because you ready I have for been this confident one. in the Holy Spirit. There we go. And another story can only make that better. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Tell me. Tell me. So we were talking about everybody that has continued to talk about Jesus no matter what. Yes. People got put in jail. Remember, my boy Peter and John got you put in jail. when the guy was like, stop it. Yes. <laughs> like, come on. But they were Didn't like, work. no. Look, y'all. Seriously, what? though, some people even got killed Whoa. talking about Jesus. Whoa. Like, that serious stuff. But here's the thing. People still didn't stop talking about <sighs> Jesus. The Perfect. Holy Spirit gave them that confidence that they could still talk about Jesus. Because they are believers. Like, remember the 3,000 people that got 3, saved? 3,000. Then it grew to 5,000. Then even more people and more people and more people talking Everybody about Jesus. Everybody was getting saved. Yes. It's just so great. I so, Philip. Philip. Philip, Philip, right. So the Lord told Philip, he was like, hey, I need you to travel south. Because Philip was like, I need to go out and tell more people tell. about Jesus, right? Okay. And so God was like, hey, buddy, Philip, I need you to go south. Get okay. on the road and travel south. And, and he tell was like, the people about Jesus. Okay, I'm going to be obedient, and I'm going to go south. I don't know what city I'm going to, but I'm going to be obedient. South. just south. Just go south, just. right? So he's traveling like towards Gaza, like just traveling or whatever. He's on the road. And who does he happen upon? Who? Who? He, hap- who? he happens to come across this guy who is like the, um, mm-hmm. he takes care of all the queen of Ethiopia's, oh. like her, all of her money and stuff. Oh. All of her stuff. Like he's he, kind of important. Like, yeah, he's like important dude, right? And he was traveling because he, guess what? What? He's been reading some books from the prophets, what? like Isaiah. Okay. Like he had been reading, and this is where the what? confidence that you get from the Holy Spirit, right? Because Philip, God tells him, go to that chariot, because there's a guy in there, right? So go to go? that chariot. So he goes over to the chariot, what? and the Ethiopian guy, he sees that he's reading like some scriptures and stuff from the prophet Isaiah, and Philip is like, hey, hey. Do you know what you're reading? Did he know? No, he was like, I, you know, I'm reading this, but I don't fully understand what it's talking about. I've been there. Right? Like, whew, one time I was the Bible? reading my mom's like old Bible. Yeah. It was like brown leather, big print. Mm-hmm. And it was like, thou didst amongst. I was like, what? It was hard to understand. I didn't understand it. Right? I didn't get it. It, it sometimes I can be I a little bit. I wish I had some help then, yeah. But you know who's with you now? Who? The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And now you can get help, help while you're reading. And that's what help. the Ethiopian guy, he had help from Philip because the Lord was like, help him. Help. Philip, help him understand. So he just climbed up into that chariot. He was like, can I sit next to your partner? Can I sit I'm next sure to he you? was like, yeah, if you're going to help me, come right? on. Help, just come on up here. So he's telling him, it's like reading what he's reading. And he's like, what is this, like the sheep got slaughtered? Uh, he didn't do nothing. Like, we know what that means. Mean we know uh-huh. that the sheep is Jesus right. and that the sheep didn't fight back because Jesus didn't fight back. We Ooh. know all of this stuff, right? We've been learning. Right? We've been learning. And he has been, Philip is telling this guy all about Jesus. Again, the confidence in him, right, that he can talk about Jesus. And he's telling this Ethiopian guy about Jesus because he's already, okay. like, he's heard about Jesus. He's, he's hearing things, right? So he's already like, I want to believe. So he keep, they just keep talking to each other, right? Yes. On their way as they're still traveling. What happened? They see some water. Water? Mm-hmm. I know they you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's just water. It's just water. But it's not just water. Oh, Miss Tina. I know. Because he says, guess what? What? He's thirsty. No. Oh, okay. Well, for the living water. Ha <laughs> ah. ha! Right? <laughs> no. He says, what? what's stopping me from being baptized wow. in this water? Wow. Right? Like, after all this conversation he's been having with Philip, and Philip was like, there's nothing stopping you. Did he get baptized in he, that water? He got baptized in the wow. He got wow. baptized, Miss Tanisha. So Philip taught him 
Well, he was reading, and it was about Jesus, and then he got baptized as yes. soon as he saw some water. Right? I like that one. Man, talk about just being wanting to be with Jesus. You're hearing this. Again, the confidence that the Holy yes. Spirit gives you. Philip had and to have a lot of confidence man, from the Holy I'm Spirit. Man, I'm telling you. Philip had confidence in obedience because after That's he got one. finished with this guy, he went on to another town that he needed to go to, and the Ethiopian guy went on his way with the chariot. And they just and, kept telling people. And a, right. He's going to be telling people about Jesus. Philip's telling more people about Jesus. Just This is how it keeps going, guys, over and over and again, and another one, and another one, and a, all the way again to right now. Right now. So we can do what, Miss Tanisha? Us. We can tell others about Jesus because we have confidence in the Holy Spirit. There you go. Do you see how that works, guys? I love it. Man, I'm telling you. I'm yes. telling you. I love this confidence. And you guys can have confidence, too, you telling can. people about Jesus. Love it. Miss <sighs> Tina, why don't you confidently pray for us, please? Yes. yes. Oh. Confidently pray for us. You and me and Miss Tanisha. Everybody. About Jesus. All right, here we go. Father God, thank you so, so much for giving us the Holy Spirit to help us talk about you, to help us have the confidence to talk about you, even when we're nervous, even when we're scared. You put people around us. You have the Holy Spirit with us to help us gain this confidence so we can spread your word to others. Thank you so much for loving us and protecting us. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, I loved it. Ooh. Right? Feeling confident. I am too. I hope you guys are too. I'm confidently ready for summertime. Summer, summer. You know what's coming up, don't you? Vacation Bible, Bible School. School. That's I can't right. wait for VBS. Oh. Y'all wait. Next month is going to be so Amazing. exciting. Let's get Let's go. moving. <laughs> Little thing for you. I hear I see what you do. Hey guys, welcome back. What an amazing story that was. What an amazing month this has been. Guys, this is week four of May. Can you believe that? The bottom line, don't forget, is God is with you even when you have questions. Don't forget that. So just because you have questions, God's not going to leave you. He's with you always, even when you have questions. So I want us to carry that with us throughout this month, the rest of this month. Carry that with us throughout our time, our days, our years, on and on and on. Now, I'm going to get out of here, but before, I want to remind you of something. Don't forget about our summer camps. It's almost summer. We have a week couple weeks of school left. So it's time to sign up if you haven't done so already. Sign up for those summer camps. Look at that link in the description. And also, guess what happens in summer? VBS. VBS. Have you ever been to VBS? VBS is off the chain. So you don't want to miss that. So make sure you sign up for that. And also, before we go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on everything we have going on here. We're going to get out of here, but until next week, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>